Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes as the input and print the character in a line until the character is continuously repeated Similarly, the program must print the other lines until the character is continuously repeated. So after that, finally, we must pad the asterisk at the end of the strings so that each line has same length. So first we are going to accept the string yes. And then we have to print the characters in a line until a character is continuously repeated. And similarly, the program must print the other line until the character is continuously repeated. And then we must pad these asterisks. And also here, also all the character of yes are printed. And finally, we'll pad asterisks at the end of the string so that each line has same length. So now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have skill rack where we'll have yes. And then we have K. And then we have I. And then we have L. And then again, we have L. So now our current character is equal to the previous character, but our current character is not equal to the next character. That is L is not equal to R, right? So we'll move to the next line and we'll print the other characters. And then we have K. So after printing, we can see that this first line has uh, more length so in order to match it length we are adding this asterisk now in this test case we'll have a b c d and we have four e's so now the current character is equal to the previous character but not equal to the next character so we'll move to the next line And then we have M O N O then P P P P. So here current character is equal to the previous character and current character is not equal to the next character. So we'll move to the next line. So we'll have L U C K. And now we can see that this, this string has the maximum length. So we'll pad asterisk to match their lengths. So this would be the output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, we can see that there is no character that has been repeated. So we'll print the output same as it is. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our input, the string yes. 
and then we'll have the empty list called lines and then after that we'll have the empty string called the substring where we are going to print the characters in each line and then we'll have to iterate over that is for index in range len of yes the substring will be appended that is will be incremented with the s of index and if the index is equal to equal to len of yes minus 1 means then we are going to append the lines with the substring and elif index is not equal to 0 means and yes of index is equal to equal to yes of index minus 1 means and yes of index not equal to yes of index plus 1 then we are going to append the lines with the substring and also will make the substring empty and now we are going to pad the zeros to match the length of each substring so for that we'll have max equal to maximum length is equal to the max of lines comma key equal to len so this will find the key function we'll find the length and we'll find the maximum length using this and after finding this maximum length we will iterate over each word so for word in lines we must print the asterisk at the end of the word so word dot so here it is maximum length comma asterisk this will get the asterisk at the end of each substring so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output as you can see there are no characters repeated now we'll pass our another test case and here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.